What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? Today we're coming back at you with some more Kanishi. And we are in a very precarious situation from ending from the last video. We have been ganked by, yet again, another horde of these dirty raptor scum. <laughs> Basically, they can smell our crop, so they're coming in to try to get our wheat and our delicious cotton. So they run in here, and they feast. Thankfully, we're capable of... Wait. No. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so the issue that we're having is that we're not completely walled off right now. And... I was monkeying with it off camera because it was frustrating me. So, like, the way this works is because this isn't maybe high enough or doesn't go up far enough, it doesn't actually wall everything off. So, what we do need to do is build a secondary wall. Oh, look. This guy might be someone who would want to join us. We have two more people that add to the, screw, the, the crew uh, for the future. Dante Ray and Fighting Your Demons, which is pretty dope names. And so we will attempt to recruit some people and get them into the squad in the future. But for right now, we need to... Let's finish off this wall. All right. I think the way that I did it when I was cra like testing it out to make sure that it wouldn't bug out on me was to go like this. And we needed to go really high. But like actually to be like out of the ground high like this Confirm. all right so when they finish that wall our base will actually be walled off and we are going to try to rush what i really want to try to do is get one of there's this building that i have right here i was thinking about this offline like what could i do right so it looks like this right wait where can you put this thing oh I don't know what the requirements exactly will be for it, but I was thinking, okay, if I could put the door inside of the base, let me hit that rotate button. So if I could put the door inside of my base, but then to put this out a little bit, so I'll have to destroy the walls and then build them back. But I was thinking like, what if I put bows on the front left corner and in the, like on the side. So when they're trying to punch my gate and get in, what if I could just rain down to do, 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 crossbow bolts into them? And then I was thinking about putting a, a dual gate. So that way, as they're attempting to break out the second gate, I can, you know, rally my dudes into here. And then once they go past the second gate into the, and then attempting to beat down the first gate, then they would be getting waylaid by cross bolts. Or in the future, I'd love to have it to where I had, could hit them at the second gate and the first gate. It'll take some time to develop. We need to get materials. That's the big stopgap right now. But right now, we do have a sneaky boy. He's all up in our base, being janky, McStevens. Um, I see that we have, like, an ally dude over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Quan on passive, and we're going to put him on block, because I want him to be healing us in these fights, because we're already starting to take damage. One snuck in already. I'm hoping Emeretta can hold aggro on these. But let's try to make this work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, because they are red. So if you are if you cursor over them, this means that they're already aggroed, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, we needed this so bad. Okay, okay. I just realized. So once we kill this guy, our guys will go beast mode. And they're going to target something else in a squad of guys. And if they do that, these guys will engage with the ones that target them. So we're going to put everyone on passive, have those guys fight right now. Because inevitably, I think we're going to have to fight this one as well. But our guys are so injured right now. No, butthole. No, buttholes. No. Attack Emeretta, you turds. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Attack Emeretta. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so what we're doing right now is kind of what you'd actually do in real life, man. It'd be like... If you're fighting wolves and you just be like, hey, over here, stupid wolf, attack me. Don't attack my other dudes because I'm already sad, bruh. All right, what's going on here? So, son of a zis. Oh, gosh, they broke off their attack on this. All right, so the AI isn't the smartest thing on the planet. Uh, we want Kristen. Uh, Kristen's actually doing pretty well, minus that stomach wound. So, we're going to have her go in. Oh, no, our boy Valak. He's unconscious for thir three or 374 seconds. <laughs> oh, the brutal. I, this is why I didn't want to start in the swamp, but 
my other, I mean, the other one was really hard too, being in the desert, and the desert is a much more noob-friendly area, so I should have known better, but at the end of the day, I said I wanted a challenge, and they are giving it to me in spades, so, okay, okay, perfect, perfect, I've got all five of them chasing me, cool, all right, let's just make sure our guys don't do anything stupid, we've got enough guys fighting, yes, let's go, all right, tiger, slay this fool, so remember, if you can kill them by Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh! Okay, good. They didn't get an attack off on Emeretta. No! What are you guys doing? You're supposed to be on passive. Oh, are they just building? Oh, okay. They are just building. Oh, okay. Oh! No, turd! Oh, okay, so he's he's too aggroed, but these guys aren't. So let's just keep on running away with Emeretta. We're gonna put her on, I guess, walk, right? And we're gonna have her move to Squin. I don't know what happened to Sun. She got crazy path. And she started going in the most ridiculous place possible. Alright. Oh, not Quan. Quan's our healer. Alright. Back up, bruh. Can we talk to you right now, though? Oh! Oh, gosh. Who is he going for? Okay. Alright. We're going to have these guys fight. But we're just going to take our fighters who are the least damaged to most vital organs. Which Tiger looks like he'll be one of them. So what's nice about passive, this means after they kill him, they will not re-engage with the other targets. Oh, son of a zitch. Major head wound. Quan is actually not so bad. Oh, look at this. Sun's doing pretty pretty solid. So we'll put Sun on. Uh, Ruka's not doing terrible. So Ruka Sensei will come over. Um... And I think I'm going to keep Quan attempting to just first aid people. Whoever, whoever that is. Mm. Gosh, let's just put him on damage right now. Oh, he's on block. Tiger shouldn't be on block though, right? Okay, cool. All right, now we got to pay attention. The AI is not, remember, is not the smartest thing on the planet. What happened to Emeretta? The Wrangler of the Hordes. Gosh, see, this is what I was talking about. The AI will start to re-engage. Re be annoying. Okay, so we got her. Or him. I guess they could be hers. They could be him's. Perfect. So we're going to have Hemoretta just hang out here for a second. And actually move this way. Okay, and then while that's happening, we're going to check out this combat. Oh, gosh, Tiger just took a big hit. Uh, oh, yeah, but we're getting it. We're getting... Oh, no, Tiger! Why? Okay, I could have swore we had a third person come. Was it Sun? No, Sun's supposed to be coming here. Where's Ruka Sensei we sent in? Oh, yeah, we sent Quan. Tiger went down. Gosh, Blend is so injured. Oh, my gosh, so is Kang. All right. Oh, man. All right, we're going to have to send in Zitch, I think. I just don't want... Like, let's check out this bro's health. He's almost... Well, at least his, one of his legs is almost wrecked. But really, it's just his chest. Okay, let's, uh, no, see, this is exactly why I keep on double-checking. Perfect, okay. I think maybe, maybe Emeretta's just getting too far away. I tried to even make her walk slower. Let's go, boys. I need to take you to Shaq. I need my saviors. Those mighty Shaq warriors protect me from all these whoopings. Okay. Let's see how this fight is going here. I believe in you guys. Come on. Let's see how he's doing. Yeah, look at this foo. He's crippled. Legs are getting wrecked. All right, we really got to pay attention to Amaretta. Oh, this is exactly why I got to pay attention. No, Amaretta, get out of there. Oh, okay, good. Only wounds to the arm. Still sucks, but at least it wasn't to a leg because if they caught me, that would suck so much and so hard. All right. See, I wish there was some way. I mean, this map is just so gigantic. This game is really intense because you have to really micromanage a ton. If you don't, you get wrecked. And it's so easy for people to get wrecked. All right. Hobbs. Oh, gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, he's down. He's down. Okay, perfect. All right. Quan should have been healing. Or maybe he did already. All right. Let's make sure this fool's dead. Did he heal Quan or, or did he heal me already? Okay, good. All right, so I want him to also 
because plant. Oh, <gasps> no, plant died. Oh, that's a bummer. So, I mean, he at least was helping us. I mean, he's not amazing, so it's not horrible. But, I mean, obviously, I wanted to keep everyone as alive as possible in here. So, we're, we will have him run out over here. Oh, gosh. Pay more attention to Emerita. Oh, oh, oh. No, Emerita. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, gosh. This is so spooky. No, turds. Excuse me? Wait, this paused. Please tell me this paused. How goes it? Uh, it could be worse, I guess. Could be better, too. Oh, yeah, this is where you tell him you have a settlement. Ah! Uh! Wait, did he join us? Wait, did he join us? I clicked too fast. So it says he has no faction. He's patrolling our town, which is cool. Uh, I really want them to finish this gate like yesterday. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's just pay attention to Emeretta for now. Yes, I wanted to talk to that guy because I was hoping he would join our faction. And if he does, that would be amazing. But if he doesn't, there's worse things that could happen. All right. So Quan doesn't have any building materials. That's okay. Come, I want you to come and loot this guy, though. Because you can never have enough free, delicious gear. Get over here, Ted's. Oh, my gosh. Look at Emeretta's broken arm just swinging around in the wind, dude. It's all good. Oh, you guys don't know how relieved I am. I I took this fight off camera, mostly because I was just trying to figure out how do I build a wall so people just can't ransack my lands with all these stupid animals. Ooh, Ninja Blade. Oh my gosh, look at that DPS, son. It's a Model Edge 3. That's really high quality. Oh my gosh, you can see its sell value, 5,000, but it's a straight up value, is 35. Oh my gosh. And this is probably a decent piece of armor. Trader's leather. Yeah, well, it's definitely better than this. All right, we're going to throw this on our doctor for now. Because, uh, why not? Oh, man. He's got a lot of just random stuff. Medical supplies. Get some food for us. All right. Thanks, bro. I'm so sad that he died, though. I want him to be part of our faction, not a dead person. Okay. But this is pretty huge. Oh, you can add some shoes for us? But that sword, man, next level. All right. Let's figure out... Okay, so Emeretta, we're going to have you go here. And then we're going to figure out... Okay, good. Give you some room. Who else can loot this, bruh? Let's go, Zichy boy. All right, let's keep Amaretta, making sure that all these aggros are on us, which they are. Perfect. I think we pulled them far enough away from our base to where... They're no longer just, like, full rage moding, right? So, oh, what? The giant has pulled aggro? Giant boy? Wait, where are you? Wait, I am so confused. Wait, how did the giant get over here? The giant was knocked out, dude. It's like the giant... Oh, you know what it is? It's because he is he wasn't on passive, so he might have been trying to trail these guys for this entire time. Alright, bro. You're like literally one HP in your stomach, so but you just get back to the actual base. You know I think that's a camp. I think this must be like a raptor camp. Can we get close enough? Does it tell us any stats? It's supposed to. If you hover over it, maybe it's because the autosave is popping up. Can I click it? No. I was like wondering. I'm like zoomed in as far as possible. Hmm. Maybe you gotta be closer to it or something. But there are basically animal camps near us. Oh yeah, here's this little nomad camp. Alright, Emeretta, just run to Squin. For the love of God. We need you just to get over there. We need these turds to follow us. I want her to be walking. Slow down so that you don't outrun these fools. But it looks like she has their attention still. All right, we're going to periodically pay attention to them. Whew, man, this is intense, dude. Where's Sun at? Please tell me you're... Okay, good. Sun is running back here. She's got her book, so we can go into Tier 2. That'll be really important because we need to get Tier 2 walls, and we need to get crossbows. For the love of God, we need crossbows like 50 years ago. That way we can be shooting 
these dirty raptors before they just come in and maul our face. But you see how gigantic they are. They're, I mean, they're beefy, and they're a really high-tier unit. So the fact that we have to consistently fight them every two seconds in our own base is beyond brutal. But I'm so glad that we were smart enough to round these fools up like the rodeo clowns <laughs> of, the, well, of the rodeos. Get these fools out of here. Oh my gosh, dude, this has been so brutal. Like, literally, this last two episodes has just been brutality after brutality after brutality. Everyone is so injured. All we're trying to do is get our next building online because we need our building so we can put our loon in there, and then we can take the fabrics we already have and make some... <gasps> Wait, what? How did this other horde of bros get in our base? Did they spawn in here? Oh my gosh. All right, let's just make sure everyone's on passive. Yes, you guys committed a crime. I don't care, though. I, I don't care. It's fine. I mean, it sucks that they're eating our food right now. We still have a decent amount. I really wanted to get some bread manufacturing online, but we are getting no love. Once we have the walls up, it'll be a lot less annoying. Oh, man. But they're just gonna. Oh, what? Do you see how many they are? They they had to spawn inside our base, right? Wait, what, what are you doing, Ray? Please, for the love of God, please do not be dumb and fight those guys. What are you doing? Where are you going? He's on some kind of move order. Okay. I don't know how these. I think they literally spawned in our base. That is so brutal, dude. That is beyond brutal. But thankfully, I have everyone on passive. So, it's not like it's the worst thing on the planet. That'd be so cool if these raptors took out one of the Shack bros and I got their gear. Oh, that'd be so nice. All right, so Emirate is almost a squin, so this is great. We're just going to have her keep on running. Oh, Tiger's up. Yay. Gosh, I can't believe these bros are inside of our base, dude. Oh, look at them eat our crops, you scum. You dirty ape. But, at least, right now, we are getting our walls online. I'm starting to feel mildly safe. We might have to open our gates so this, these dirt bags get out. But right now, we're just, like, manufacturing pieces. Ooh, Marilla's flashing. I think it's just the fact that she still has aggro. Let's make sure. Yep, and they're still close to her. Good. The fact that we made her slow down a little bit means that they're staying real close to her. So she's got a lot of aggro. Because I don't know. I think, I don't know if raptors are bugged, but I feel like ap raptor aggro never ends. That's what I think, anyways. Maybe you become like an enemy faction because they commit a crime against you, and I don't know what that does to the AI itself, but one thing I do know is it makes them really annoying. But look how many raptors there are, and look at their stats. Oh my gosh. Like, they're like a shack, basically. But, like, look at their stats, dude. That's my best warrior stats right there. And then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them. I only have 10, 12 guys, man. Like I said, this game, no love. No love at all. All right. But at least we're pulling away these four. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, we need beds, too. We just need a whole lot of good stuff. But thankfully, we have some stuff to sell now, which is pretty great. Good. Okay, good. So we're almost in the shack here. Shack, help. Help me. I'm a pretty lady. I'm a pretty Asian lady. Now she's just walking up, dude. She's like, just taking leisurely stroll while these raptors are hot on my heels. Oh, maybe not. Get over here, turds. There's no quarter for you. You must be slain with extreme prejudice. Let's go. Dang, dude, but look at Amaretta's toughness, man. It's already still beefy. 22, man. It's because all of our guys have been taking so much damage, dude. It's been so brutal. Oh, Amaretta's arm is just like straight up toast right now. It keeps on going down because it's so injured. Get over here, turds. Stop breaking aggro. Yeah, there we go. All right, so it's three Shek guards, but look at these Shek stats, dude. Through the roof. 64. Look at that attack and defense. Oh, my gosh, dude. They're going to rip these dudes asunder. But there's only four. 
I, dude, I so I was thinking about what I want to do off camera. Oh my gosh, he hits for 108 damage. Ooh, that's so spicy, dude. I cannot wait until I hit for that much damage. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh. Um, so Emerita actually has some healing kits on her. I kind of want her to heal herself. But I don't want it to be like... I just want her to get her arm out of the critical. I don't want her to waste too much. Because she's like crippled now. I believe in you. I wonder if she's like failing hard. Are they skinning this fool? Are they skinning this fool? Because it looks like they're looting. First aid's going up. Oh, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. So at least now it can heal. All right, we're getting all these beautiful threads. And we are going to save the leather because we can make that into armor, which is going to be great. All right. Whew. Gosh, that was so brutal. Yeah, see all these camps around us? Ugh. All right. And we've got those bodies, so people inevitably, I think, are going to want to attack us. I was trying to get the camera to go here. All right. Please tell me you guys almost have a building material done. They do. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Wait, what's blend up to? So blend has... So that's so interesting, right? Why aren't you uh, operating this then, bruh? Oh, okay. I had them operating this one. Does this have three on it? Oh, it does. Okay. So in this game, if I tell them to work one stone place, it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll do them all. Wait, is this guy still... Wait, what are you doing? He's full. Okay, so this is still growing because they haven't eaten all of the plants. All right, perfect. It looks like everybody has a job, so that's great. Oh, yeah, finally. Okay, so now our base is finally secure. Uh, let's open this because it looks like uh, the giant needs to be able to get in. Oh. I just don't know if he's... Yeah, see, he's going to get blocked because the wall's down behind me, right? Yeah, you can't go up here, right, bruh? Yeah, great! Finally! We are walled off! We are semi-safe from the world! And by semi, I mean semi, because if they attack this gate, it will be very sad. This is not super strong. Uh, at least buys us some time, but until we get crossbows online, it's... It's at, least, it's at least some buffer. Maybe they won't be able to get to our crops. I don't know how that mechanic works. If it's completely walled off, I don't know if they will truly try to attack your gate to try to get in. Well, that's something for us to find out in the next video. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like. Drop us some comments below. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.